Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you JFET, Junction Field Effect Transistor. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. First, I'll be discussing based on symbol of JFET. After that, I'll show you basic structure of JFET. After that, I'll explain you working of JFET. And at last, I'll be discussing based on output characteristics of JFET. So let us start this video with first agenda that is symbol of JFET. See JFET is three terminal device. JFET is having three terminals. Gate terminal, drain terminal and source terminal. With JFET, there are basically two types. N channel JFET and P channel JFET. If you talk about symbol of N channel JFET, then with N channel JFET, gate terminal is having arrow which will be there in inward direction. If you talk about symbol of P channel JFET, then gate terminal arrow that is there in outward direction. So direction of arrow will justify symbol of JFET. Now, I'll explain you structure of JFET. Here I'll explain you N channel JFET structure. If you observe N channel JFET structure, then in that see major body is of N channel means N type material. At one end of this N channel, we have drain and at second end of this N channel, we have source. Here gate that we have with P type material. So inside N channel we are diffusing P type material and with P type material metallic contact is provided for gate terminal over here. Right. So basic structure of N channel JFET is having N type material channel. You can observe over here and gate is connected with P type material so p type material that we are diffusing inside n channel here because of p type material is diffused over here we are having formation of pn junction over here and because of pn junction is formed over here we will be having depletion region like you can observe here see depletion region that will be available over here right if we don't have any biasing right now I am considering we don't have any biasing so depletion region that will be happening like this. This depletion region width that is based on biasing voltage that we apply at gate drain and source terminal. So now I am going to explain you working of N channel JFET. To understand working of JFET First, you need to understand how to apply biasing voltage to JFET. Let me show you how to connect biasing potential. See, in between gate and source, we need to apply supply that is VGS. You see how to connect it. Positive terminal of battery that should be connected with gate and negative terminal of battery that should be connected with source. So here we are connecting VGS battery this is input side connection and at output side in between drain and source we need to connect vds supply so you can observe here i am connecting vds supply with which positive terminal that is connected with drain and negative terminal that we are connecting it with source so that is how vds supply that we are connecting. This is input side and this is output side. To understand working, let us keep VGS is equals to zero. So first I am going to keep VGS is equals to zero. Now as if VGS is zero and as if some value of VDS is there, then what will happen? So VDS is having some small value and positive terminal that is connected with drain. So here we have positive terminal and here we have negative terminal. 
So if you observe, see, here we have P-type material and this is N-channel, right? So this P-N junction that comes in reverse bias condition. How you see? This drain is positive, which is having N-type material and this P that is connected with negative. Means this P-N junction that comes in reverse bias condition. So as if reverse bias condition is there, but obviously there will be depletion region. But pattern of depletion region that is quite interesting. Let me show you. See, here depletion region width that is more at the side of drain and depletion region width that is less at the side of source. Why that is happening like this? Let me explain you that. See, at the side of drain, we have positive terminal. That's why this PN junction that comes in reverse pass. Here at the side of source, we are having negative terminal. Means at this side, depletion region width that should be less. The reason is this junction is less in terms of reverse bias potential, right? So because of reverse bias potential is more over here at the side of drain, depletion region is more over here and depletion region width is less over here at the side of source as we are connecting negative terminal of VDS, right? Now see this depletion region that will be offering resistance. But if you observe here, if you observe here, See, we have a space in between this depletion region. So this is a channel and through this channel, majority carriers will be moving, right? With N channel, majority carriers will be electrons. So you see, with N channel, with N channel, electrons will be moving. Now how electrons will be moving? See here we have positive terminal. So electrons will be attracted towards positive terminal of battery, right? So electrons will be moving in this loop like this, right? And conventional current that will be in opposite direction to the direction of motion of electrons. So conventional current means here we will be having drain current that will be happening in this direction, right? And this drain current that is happening because of VDS supply where we keep VGS is equals to zero. Now what will happen if you increase VDS voltage? See if you increase VDS voltage, if you increase VDS voltage, then, then see gradually, gradually this depletion region that will increase, right? This depletion region that will increase. If you increase VDS voltage, here we keep VGS zero. And if you increase VDS voltage, this depletion region width will increase. So this channel that is getting narrowed as you increase VDS voltage. So as channel is getting narrowed, resistance in between drain and source that will increase. So as you increase VDS voltage, resistance in between drain and source will increase. Right. So after some voltage of VDS, drain current will not increase. Right. Generally, what happens? As you increase VDS, drain current will increase. But along with increase in VDS, this depletion region that is increasing and because of which channel is getting narrowed and after pinch of voltage, drain current will become constant. You can say, see after pinch of voltage, even if you increase VDS, drain current remains constant. That even I'll show you in characteristics. Right now you need to understand working, right? So what is pinch of voltage? Pinch of voltage is a voltage after which drain current will not increase. Pinch of voltage is a voltage applied in between drain and source terminal. At the time of pitch of voltage, VGS voltage should be zero, right? Now, what will happen as if you increase VGS? See, as if you increase VGS, then drain current will increase. 
राइट दैट्स वाई वी से दैट दिस जे फैट इज वोल्टेज कंट्रोल डिवाइस वाई द रीजन इज हियर वी आर कंट्रोलिंग आउटपुट करंट आई डी बाई कंट्रोलिंग वी जी एस सो इफ यू इंक्रीज वी जी एस वोल्टेज आउटपुट करंट आई डी विल इंक्रीज इफ यू डिक्रीज वी जी एस वोल्टेज आउटपुट करंट आई डी विल डिक्रीज दैट्स वाई जे फैट जे फैट इज वोल्टेज कंट्रोल डिवाइस राइट सो दैट इज हाउ बेसिक वर्किंग इज देर विथ जे फैट now let us try to understand output characteristics output characteristic is in between output voltage and output current here output voltage is vds and output current is id where we keep input voltage constant input voltage is vgs here you can observe in biasing output voltage is vds and output current is id so output characteristic is in between ID and VDS, where we keep input voltage VGS constant. Here, to understand output characteristic, first I'll be keeping VGS is equals to zero. So what will happen as if you keep VGS is equals to zero? Here, in characteristic, we will be increasing VDS and we will be observing what will happen with drain current. So initially, as if you increase VDS voltage. drain current that will increase linearly why it will increase linearly the reason is here in between drain and source we have channel so through channel current will increase if you increase vds voltage and that increase will happen linearly right but after some potential in between drain and source resistance in between drain and source will increase why that resistance will increase the reason is if you increase vds voltage here this pn junction that will come in more reverse bias because of which here this depletion region that will be increasing over here and as this depletion region width is more over here resistance in between drain and source will increase right so after some potential of vds resistance will increase that will not allow increase in drain current means drain current will become constant over here right and that potential is referred as pinch of voltage so you see here in characteristic after some potential here drain current will become constant so after this point drain current is getting constant and that point is having voltage that is pinch of voltage so after pinch of voltage resistance in between source and drain will increase that will not allow increase in drain current over here and after some voltage there will be breakdown and in breakdown high current will flow but we don't operate j fat in breakdown region right now if you increase vgs then what will happen if you increase vgs then drain current will increase and as if you decrease vgs then drain current will decrease that is what the case which i have explained right if you increase vgs drain current will increase if you decrease vgs drain current will decrease so here you can observe that in characteristic if you decrease vgs then see this drain current that is decreasing right so that is how basic characteristic is there so here see drain current is remaining constant so that region is saturation region and here drain current is increasing linearly with respect to vds so that is a linear region or you can say ohmic region right here one more region is there that is channel of region now how we can have channel off see here we keep vgs constant right here we keep vgs constant and as if you apply vgs is equals to more than minus pinch of voltage then you will be having channel off why the reason is you see here if you apply vgs is equals to negative value then here by default we will be providing higher value of depletion region and if you apply 
VGS greater than pinch of voltage, then there cannot be any channel in between drain and source. As if you don't have channel in between drain and source, then it doesn't allow flow of current in between drain and source. So here, if VGS is negatively higher than pinch of voltage, then channel is off. Means over here, this JFET will stay in cutoff region or you can say channel of region. I hope you have understood this characteristics. Still, if anything that you like to share, please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.